Yo, what's up, everyone? You're listening to the 39th episode of True Aside. What's going on, family? My name is Alan Martinez, and I'm joined by my brothers Joel Hernandez, Yo, Lawrence Hopkins, Hello, and Alvin Martinez. We, what is, is that a deflating balloon, <laughs> or is it pop you? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> or is it B a Filipino? <laughs> uh, we are Canada Got Soul, and you are listening to True to Size, a weekly podcast where we get together and talk about the things we love the most. Shoes. Sneakers. Sneakers. Uh, on this episode, we get to recapping the year. It's a little bit early for that, but, you know, might as well start now. It's on the last month of uh, of the year. Duh. Mm-hmm. Uh, we'll be coming up with categories for our very first, maybe annual, Canada Got Soul Presents True to Size Awards. Oh. Yeah. We're just going to do that on the fly, so we're going we're gonna to figure <laughs> it out as, as we go. But before we get to that... <sighs> Fire round. I I sorry. I, th- I threw you for a little bit of a loop because <laughs> instead of saying "but first like yeah, I usually do, usually I said "but first. first. Yeah, my fault. My fault. It's okay. I got it. I you did. It. You did. After a couple of seconds, it's okay. <laughs> uh, we open every show with a question from one of you listeners, the CGS fam. This week's question comes from Addison's one two three. Yo, hello. Addison says, with winter approaching and the snow flying, I tend to pick up air. I pick a pair uh, every winter, a sacrificial pair of sneakers. How do you determine what pair gets sacrificed to the winter weather and what pair you are going to, you're going with as beaters this year? His answer is the triple black Jordan ones. Those are sacrificial to him. Mm-hmm. I see that. Uh, I don't know how to answer this one, so I'm going to pass it off to you guys real quick. I don't have one. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, I thought my, I was. Um, I thought I was the only one. My blacksmith threes are were from oh no from twelve twenty twelve. I think it's twenty twelve. From twenty twelve are now my shoveling shoes. Um, but I don't really have a pair of beaters per se, just because of the countdown. I tend to have to wear mm. a ah, different pair true. of shoes every day. We kind of force so, ourselves to not have beaters. I don't have beaters, man. And that Jason Mark uh, rappel is pretty good. So. Oh yeah, it's subtle plug to who? <laughs> to who? <laughs> yeah, I don't. I didn't even think of that. But yeah, because of the countdown, I don't really wear anything yeah. steadily as a beater yeah. because, like you said, we force ourselves. Okay, so um, what about after December? Yeah, I was gonna say January, like, February. My by the door shoe is still black cement mm-hmm. threes. Yeah. Um, but if it's snowy, I don't own a pair of winter boots aside from snowboarding boots, so I usually <sighs> go with a foam posit. Of nice. some sort, oh, just because yeah. those things are built like bricks. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah they can get through anything. Yeah. So, I'll go with a foam posit. No specific colorway. Real quick, Jason, Mark, if you do want to sponsor the podcast, please hit up CanadaGotSoul at gmail.com. Ooh, hit us um, I think I'm like you guys. I don't have a particular shoe that I'll like look at and go, winter shoe. I'm going to beat you. Yeah, <laughs> it's whatever is already by the door mm. that like I already don't care about. And what is that yeah. for you right now? Right now for me it's those uh Ultra 97s. Comfy, right? Mm. The the silver True. bullet colorway. Mm-hmm. Um yeah, those are comfy. They're they're like thick. They don't mm-hmm. let anything through. Mm-hmm. Uh so they're sort of weather weather resistant to me. Yep. Um not good on ice. I found that out this morning. Oh, man. Uh, I didn't fall, but I was sliding everywhere. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, but I, I do have a pair of winter boots to, to kick around when, once the snow gets a yeah, little deep. Yeah, I saw those Timberlands by the door. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Those, yeah. what are the Foot Locker n- dirty elves? Nasty elves? Nasty elves. They're very gross elves. Joel, <laughs> what's your answer for this one? Um, I don't know. Like you guys, I don't really have right anything. Like right now, I've been wearing the Humars like every day. Mm-hmm. Those are ACG, um, right? So yeah. So ish. until like All the conditions s- gear, yeah, until the snow kicks in, probably like I don't know. You could find them, like in Tim's or something. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but that's about it. I can't lie. Lately, every time when it like I get my outfit on, shoes are always last for some reason nowadays. But mm-hmm. I'm always like, I think I'm gonna need a second pair of black cement threes because I'm always thinking of wearing yep. those. Yeah, for some reason. Mm-hmm. And I, 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 it's probably the influence of you guys, but, uh, yeah, I've definitely been thinking about wearing my BC3s a lot frequently mm-hmm. yeah, man. in this, everything. uh, in this weather, especially. Mm-hmm. Definitely. Oddly well, enough. Any Jordan. Yeah. They're, they're all just built easy. very tick. Yeah. It's the like leather. I definitely wear less runners in the winter. Yeah. yeah. 
But if I'm in the mood, I'll still wear them. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But yeah. yeah. Weather yeah. weather permitting ish mood. No man, I still wear Air Maxes and like Yeah, I don't really shy. Dead away snow, from I don't care. Yeah. If I want to wear it, I'm gonna wear it. For, for the most part, I guess. Yeah. yeah. The countdown's top. Do you what guys wear saying? boots? Like do you guys own boots? I have Tim's, but they've yeah. been in my closet for two years. I haven't worn them. Really? Yeah. Mm-hmm. I just have them just because New York, you know? Mm. Did yeah. you have to? You guys actually like do I got, boots or I like? got the same pair of Tim's from high school. Nice. So, <laughs> still, so you don't wear them that still, often then? I wear them in the oh, wintertime. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. That's about well, it. I have just, boots. Yeah. You've seen them. Yeah. But I personally hate boots. Yeah. Yeah. So, so I don't want to wear them. Mm. But I mean, the the fact that I have them, I'm just gonna use them when yeah. when the snow is like that gross. Yeah. I don't own. I don't know if I'm if I need to invest in a pair of winter no. boots. Or, well, I, I mean, I so. I didn't invest in them, right? That's so true. like That's they just correct. sort of yeah. fell at my doorstep one day. Yeah. <laughs> thank you addisons one two three for the question uh if you've got any questions you'd like to ask us like addisons one two three shoot us a dm at canada got soul uh it is time now for cgs picks hey. for those that don't know each week we all pick an upcoming sneaker to analyze dissect give our thoughts on and update y'all about then we decide if it's poop scoop whoop de whoop or alvin's favorite just cute uh, my pair is the most low key of this week's choices. Mm-hmm. So I will kick this off. Uh, I chose this week the Adidas Ultra Tech in a blue and rose colorway. This silhouette, although it's not necessarily a brand new one, is, is, is easily one of my favorite Adidas silhouettes mm-hmm. that I learned of this year. Um, the panels and the lines, like I, I've gushed about them before. They're sleek. They're dope. They always have like really good colorways in them. Mm-hmm. But this one in particular utilizes like the color blocking super nicely. And on top of the color blocking, the colors are like just damn clean. Yeah. Um. So if I have room in the Christmas budget, these are a scoop. So for now, it's more of like a it's cute. It's cute. Scoop. It's cute. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. These Very are clean. mad, yeah. mad clean. Nice, man. Absolutely love this silhouette. Yeah. I need, I, although, let me backtrack a bit because if I were to get an Ultra Tech, I'm aiming for the Vegetas first mm. from the Dragon Ball Z pack. Mm. Mm. Yep. For mm-hmm. sure. For sure. For sure. Yep. Uh, next on CGS picks is Lawrence. What up? So my pick this week is the Kyrie 5. Um, but this one is a collab with one of our favorite. Well, some of most of our, hopefully, some of our favorite uh, shops concepts. <laughs> we love these guys. <laughs> I love concepts. <laughs> concepts kills they it every time. They always do a great All job. Time. Holy moly! Love um, okay, good. So I was right. <laughs> <laughs> That's mutual. <laughs> good. Okay, I kind of assumed, but I'm glad. So this pair is dope. I mean, it's a it's a collab with concepts, and I think a little bit of a backstory with this uh, specific collab is that Kyrie has been doing SB inspired. Um, signature sneakers since the Kyrie 4. He did the the lobs in a couple different colorways and he's done some other ones, but obviously the lobsters were from Concepts. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And then if I'm 99% sure of this, Concepts is in Boston, correct? Yeah. See. yeah. Okay, so yeah, he plays for Boston. So there's another one. So this specific one, uh, very simple, but then the details kind of make the shoe. You got like a very vibrant purple outsole with a lighter purple like lavender midsole. And then a sand upper with gold accents and a red tongue. The pair itself is called the... I'm going to say this wrong for sure. Eket? Are we going to say Eket? Yeah, I think you nailed it. Eket? 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 Yeah. So it's based on ancient Egypt and yes. the pyramids. Yes. So the purple is supposed to be this similar to the reflection off the pyramids when the sun hits it. Interesting. Didn't, didn't know that they were purple. True. And Guess the, we're flying to Egypt yeah, to, red, to prove this. The red tongue is supposed to be from the sphinx apparently the the sorry the noses on the sphinx used to be red before they fell off oh yeah mm-hmm. so they definitely did some crazy research, research? on, on yeah. the ancient egyptian times thank to figure you history out some stuff. Textbooks. thank you history yeah. um and then on the back you have gold detailing of the all-seeing eye the eye of horus which is very cool big ass uh eye on the back cool. and on the tongue you have the detailing one says concepts in like almost like a hieroglyphic font and then the yeah, other one yeah has yeah the i love logo. that yeah. i absolutely love that um, logo flip. so this collab is super dope um i think it's really cool that Kyrie is getting all the love now not all the love but a lot more love 
because up until I guess this year or even late last year, it was mostly LeBron. LeBron yeah, with his, with his Nike basketball collabs yeah. for as long as I can remember. Really, like people only hyped up LeBron's a couple Kobe's here and there, but yeah. other than that, I can't think of any other signature basketball shoe that's had much hype around it. Mm -hmm. um, so it's cool that Nike basketball is giving love to their other signature athletes. Mm -hmm. Like the PG PlayStation was really cool last year, and yes. now they're doing stuff with Kyrie. And they're doing that again. Yeah, they're doing the PG two point five this 25. weekend, which is. I think it's better than the first one, to be honest. Oh no, I can't! I can't stray away from the black. Yeah, no, I just love it because yeah. it's the PlayStation ones. One. Yeah. Like I, know, gray. I know, yeah, I know. Yeah, I love that that old school look. But yeah, really dope shoe. I don't know if it would be a scoop for me. I think it's just cute because mm -hmm. I don't know how I feel about really, really, really cool basketball shoes because you don't know if you should wear it for basketball or casually, and it just throws yeah. me in a weird position. Well, I think it's different if you played basketball that frequently that you would care more about having doper ball shoes on nicer courts. I think that's yeah, the main yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah. That's, well, I mean, Definitely. like that's that's part of it, right? Yeah. If you if you if you took basketball that serious and you. Yeah. You went through ball shoes that frequently, then you'd need that serious rotation. Agreed. Or if I played in a proper league or something, yeah, I could definitely exactly. see myself wanting dope kicks like that. But as of right now, I'm just going to call it cute and appreciate it for what it is. So. But Kyrie's yeah. kicks are priced so that you they're can't not rock that it expensive. Like that. Yeah, you true. can buy true. two pairs and just rock Very true. them. They're like 165. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't see the retail on this specific pair. It might be higher because it's a collab. So 130 maybe. US dollar. Oh, oh so so the same, same thing. Yeah. Bro. Maybe a little yeah. bit higher, like maybe 175, 180. Yeah, but yeah that's very reasonable. Oh, it releases um, Boxing Day. True. Yes. Oh, nice. So, yeah, true. definitely look out for those. e -Kit. He was e -Kit. on uh, the last episode of... Uh, Sneaker Shopping. Sneaker Shopping. Yeah, that's yeah. where they, like, previewed it, right? And he gave... they So, he had a pair of the Purple Lobsters on, mm -hmm. and as he was cashing out, one of the employees was like, oh, yo, this is for you, too. It's a it's an SB box, and he opens it. It's the Blue Yellow? Lobsters. Oh, it's blue. Ugh. Wow. Like, fuck. God. You didn't have to pay for those, bro. Like, yeah, no. Good times. I know. He probably already has a pair, knowing <laughs> probably. Kyrie oh, and his sure. SB yeah. collection. Yeah, it's like low key SB love. Yeah. It's so yeah, cool. Man. Yeah. The best comment I saw about this was some dude complaining about how cultish it looked. Like the Illuminati oh, the triangle Illuminati. on the bottom. <laughs> it's so wow, funny. Man. People are so foolish, man. <laughs> so foolish. He didn't read the backstory for sure. No, absolutely he not. And he's like, oh, Illuminati. <laughs> oh my God, Kyrie. It's the third eye. Kyrie. Uh, Joel. Yo. You're uh you're gonna talk about something Nike's bringing back. Yeah, so back in 2017, um, the 30th anniversary of the Air Max One, so it was a big fiasco. Like the OG Air Max Ones dropped. So next year, 2019, it's gonna be the 30th anniversary of the Air Max Lite OGs. Mm -hmm. um, so it's pretty much, if you guys don't know, it's pretty much um, a cross between the Air Max One. And the Air Max 90. Yep. Uh. Um, it's got like the plastic, um, lace paneling on the, uh, on, yeah, the yeah, yeah. on the Air Max light. It's the same as the Air Max 90. Uh, the Vimerick colors popped. I guess back in 89, it was just like, you know, throw on like, you know, mess around with like the Volt colors mm -hmm. and like, you know, the colors that pop. And, um, so this will be coming back next year. Um, it'll probably drop in the OG blue and possibly the red. Hopefully the red as well. Hopefully the red. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So. Um, it'll be a, a definite scoop for me. Yeah. Really? Yeah, man. I was gonna ask because I used to work with uh, a a girl or mm. lady woman who <laughs> who loves her Air Max ones, mm. um, or Air Maxes in general. But yeah. she didn't go for anything like the the lights, the lights. and like anything other yeah, outside yeah. of like the, mm -hmm. the standard, like the signature mm. line. I guess you could yeah, say of yeah. the Air Maxes. Mm -hmm. So these these are a go for you. These are a go for me. These hey. are a go for me. I've never been a fan of the light either, to be honest. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I've also never tried a pair on and seen it on my own foot, so that could be yeah. a game changer. Do you have Do you have a stories with these lights? Do you have any like? I got a pair. I got a pair back in not not like OG any eighty nine eighty nine ish or anything <laughs> like this. But when um, me and Mary got married, we went to Buffalo, and then I scooped up a pair of these. They're like an Easter colorway, which oh, is like a cool. black with the with the green and and whatnot. I and with the pink too, and and I wore those like to the ground. And I lost them <laughs> <laughs> somewhere How did in, you in, lose be them? in between moves. I just yeah. uh, misplaced them. So so I don't know. Hopefully, mom, if you're listening to the podcast, can you find these? What shoes up, mom? For? Please, Hello, Tita. Mama Dune. <laughs> Tita yeah. Dune. Nice. So, yeah, man. Sick. Alvin. Yo. Round it off. Mm -hmm. Talking about the Off-White yeah. X-Nike 
Air Max 90 Desert Ore. Yep. Uh, mm-hmm. pretty dope. The Desert Ore is essentially just like a tan slash like flax or wheat color. It's like dark wheat. Yeah. yeah. Wheat. Burnt, burnt wheat. Um, burnt wheat. It's accented cooked. with a bright mango, aka infrared swoosh. Mm-hmm. Uh, but depending on the lighting, I guess it might look orange. It looks kind of orange to me. Um, but it in the pictures I saw on Sneaker News, it was pinkish. Yeah. Uh, yeah. which I prefer the pinkish. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it's dope, man. Like, um, mixture of mesh, uh, suede, and what looks like, it's not leather. Can- um, no. Is there canvas? It's not, it's not canvas nylon. either. It's, it's like, like a nylon y, like, it's like a. Ripstop nylon. Kinda. Yes, yes. Yeah. Yeah, ripstop on the toe box. Yeah. The swoosh looks like it's a nylon. Yeah. It's like that material on the blazer. Yeah. Off-word. Yeah. 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 Right, yeah. Um, but yeah, it's dope. Uh, definitely a cool colorway. Feeling it a lot. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, eh? Probably Off just white, a, eh? It's a, it's a cute, though. <laughs> oh, I was waiting for that. Yeah. No, you're not gonna, are you gonna try to raffle once they, once it, once they pop up? Yeah, if I could get it, I'll get it, but like, it's Holiday not a, 2018. it's not a must. Yeah. yeah. I've heard January. That's what I heard. That'll be better if it's January. I also yeah. heard, I don't know if oh, this yeah, is... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Confirmed to arrive in early 2019. So. I don't know if this is true facts or not, but I heard that the upcoming stuff is the last off-white stuff cool. for the foreseeable future. So you've got the... What were they today? Zoom fly today. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. The 90 and then the forces. And they're calling yeah. them, quote-unquote... Because you know they did the 10. They're calling them the last three. I think that's a very unofficial nickname. But according to all these cute. sneaker leakers and everything, there's nothing else scheduled after these three. So that's cute. It's good. interesting. I I good. think it's good. Yeah, definitely vault it for at least a month. It's shit. had a good <laughs> run. It's had a good run. I think it'd be dope to come back next year with another set of silhouettes. Yeah, yeah. not so many. Late le- like, late yeah. next year, not like All Star Weekend. I mean, like a, a yeah. com- complex con exclusive pair or something. Next like November. that's what that's what they deserve. Summer really. kickoff type of thing. Do them the justice of that. At yeah. Least. yeah, yeah, I hear that. Alvin, yeah. you said Off White X Nike. Do we all say X or, or like, just, or do I we say Times? X. I say X. If it was the time I also was say X. X. Yeah. Okay. Or by. by. It's not multiplied yeah. by. Shout out Christopher <laughs> Chu because he says Times. Oh, oh shout out. Yeah, he's French, though, podcast. He's weird. Times. Yeah, everything's backwards over there. Yeah. When you talk sentences. Kel Ure Teal, Chris. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Shit. Shit. Kel Ure You fait foie. What hour is it? <laughs> it's cold. It makes cold. <laughs> it makes cold. It makes cold. cold. Yeah. All right. <laughs> we are now going to travel back in time for Previously in Kicks. <laughs> this is the part of the show where we review our latest pickups and recap the latest happenings in our sneaker lives. Do we have any pickups? No. No. <laughs> I'm Joe so fast. No. no. Didn't you say you bought something on Black Friday, my friend? Yeah, shut up. Yeah, you did. Nope. My friend. <laughs> No? Oh, Did is not. it because Sasha's listening? <laughs> no, it's because I didn't buy it. What oh, if, you were going to buy it. What if you oh, whispered? Okay. Oh, no, <laughs> still nothing. <laughs> still not- <laughs> okay, since we, none of us bought anything, I'm sure we window shopped. Does anyone, can anyone think of any notable deals they saw on Black Friday? No. Yeah, no? the soul box. Uh, <laughs> I didn't pay it. I, I purposely chose off. to not pay attention oh, yeah? to anything. Livestock? Yeah. Nice. But it's not meant to be my size of gun. There was a lot of good deals this year on Black Friday. Tons. Was there like was? a lot. And but the, Cyber Monday, the yeah. thing with like, to me at least, a lot of the deals that I did see are deals you see in like May or like June and, and just throughout oh. the year. Just those random like 25% off sale type of a thing. I just think I definitely agree you see that often, but it was the fact that most sites or most stores did no, everything. No exclusions. Yeah, yeah you're right. Yeah. Which Correct. is definitely rare. Correct. Yeah. I, agree, um, I agree. And I was seeing, this is kind of off sneaker topics, but I was seeing on a lot of Go like- news websites and hearing on the radio that Black Friday has the potential this year in Canada to be bigger than Boxing Day. I think yeah. it has been though. Last yeah. year Boxing Day was absolute butt cheeks yeah. as well. So I think because Black Friday is from Friday to Monday essentially and then it's all yeah. a lot of people do I also now. think that it's it's the whole Christmas shopping thing. So people yeah. start now. So retailers mm-hmm. and brands are gonna take advantage of the sales now because people need to buy gifts as opposed exactly. to go shopping afterwards. You're broke. After. Yeah. yeah. Well, I'll shop with my Christmas money, which no, no one, one has. has anymore. Yeah. The only issue I really take with Black Friday as a Canadian, if we can 
vent it for a little bit is that sure, everyone works that day. Let's have an yeah. NSR it's, moment. It's though. Friday and everyone is for the most part working. Yeah. So like, what's the unless, point? Unless you can hit up the computers because sometimes they'll just do Black Friday online yeah, as well. Yeah, and then, then at that like, point, I feel like people do Cyber Monday. Yeah. Like mm-hmm. they have the whole thing. I don't know. To me, Some, it seems very wasteful to even have Black Friday in Canada. Some of the online Black Friday deals were better than the Cyber Monday online deals. And I saw opposites mm-hmm. too. I don't know, it man. It's all over. Brand. Yeah, that's very true. It's all over. That's very true. Depends on where you're shopping. Yeah. Mm. Well, happy Thanksgiving to our U.S. brethren. Correct. Yeah. Yes. Happy belated uh, Thanksgiving. I think we said it last week too, but whatever. Say it again. We're stealing your holiday. I hope you guys had a. Uh, <laughs> yeah, we really are. Like for no uh, reason. Did they take Boxing Day or not? I think box, uh, dot, Boxing Day is they? not as big in the states. We could be wrong. Uh, Hit us up if you guys are from America and yeah, you can I think let it was us know. Called Boxing Day because people were fighting in America. Box. Okay, yo, box. we're gonna keep this NSR thing going, not non sneaker related. The videos of boxing of uh, Black, Friday. Black Friday in the U.S. versus videos in Canada <laughs> are, are so so different. Yeah, because we're like, sorry, go ahead. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And like, apologies. You. Yeah. Your hand sorry. was on this. Yeah, oh, go ahead. Oh, here you can take it. It's okay. I don't really need a TV. It's fine. Oh my God, the states y'all are wild. It's, like, if it's in the U.S. Yo, that's my TV, yeah. motherfucker. Oh. <laughs> well, have you guys been Black Friday shopping in the states before? No, no. I, I don't want. I to. I, I did know. once in high school. I went actually so we like, high school Lawrence would do that yeah well actually it was my mom <laughs> which joking. was the craziest thing like she let me skip school to go Black Friday shopping with her in Buffalo nice wow um, well, how was nice. it so we left here like Toronto Brampton at like 11 11- <laughs> That's, so, that's the first time you've ever strayed away from being proud at, of Brampton. Uh, yeah. At like 11 p.m., we'll say. So we got there because of border and traffic mm-hmm. and everything because it is Black Friday. We got there at like 1, 1.30 in the morning. Mm-hmm. And you start shopping right away. Yeah. Places True. are open oh, yeah. from 1.30 oh, in the yeah, morning. Oh, yeah. I bet. Holy and it's crap. busy. like ne- at, Busier than any mall you've ever been to in Canada. Oh. At one thirty in the morning, so we hit up Military Road, yeah, and the deals were decent. Like the stores there, one at that time weren't the best. Um, I don't know if I bought anything, maybe one or two things from Nike, and then maybe left at like four, went straight to Walden Galleria, which is a mall, mm-hmm. also open and busy, like very busy. Um, and it's I don't know if I missed the rush, but it's not like the videos. I feel like those videos are like Walmart, That's like right when you open, yeah, right at when you yeah. open because they open at midnight. Yeah, is what like as soon as it's Friday, they're like it's Black Friday now yeah. officially, and it's like they buy the TVs and the laptops and stuff. But if you're looking for shoes, I think it's also because you went to the clothes. outlets, right? I don't know. Some there was some good deals. There was definitely oh, lines for at sure. Lots there will of stores, be, but, but I like, think, like I said, yeah, those yeah. massacres where people get trampled, trampled and stuff is yeah. like electronics mm-hmm. and Walmart, yeah, like yeah, the places yeah, where yeah. they like mark full, down stuff, full blown retail, they mark brand down new. items like eighty percent. Yeah. Wow. For like a like, I think my mom bought a laptop for like two hundred dollars. I think she bought like two or three because why not? Yeah. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Nice. Yeah, it's definitely interesting. Uh, yeah, if you're American and listening to this, let us know your Black Friday experiences, and if you guys have Boxing Day, please, it'd be interesting to know. And if you picked up anything, yes, and Americans let us know how the deals and were. Canadians, how were the deals down there? Because up here they were pretty good for it not even being a real thing up here. Mm-hmm. They're <laughs> True. Pretty good. <laughs> yeah. True story. Uh, Lawrence, you got a package from Under Armour. I did, yeah. So this past week, I was hit up by our very good friend at Under Armour, who I'm going to keep nameless for his own sake, with uh, a box from the UA Unstoppable Collection. So this is their new collection they just dropped for winter. It is very techy, but also very like lined, like it's thicker. Um, mm. Kind of like tech fleece, I guess, but a little bit more fleecy, for the if warmer. that makes sense. Yep. So they sent a t-shirt. A track top it doesn't have a hood, so I don't want to call it like a. I don't know. It's it a track jacket. Yeah, yeah, track jacket, matching pants. The UA Hover Phantom, which if I haven't said it already, is one of my favorite cushioning systems. Hover is friggin' so comfortable. Real good. And a pair of compression underwear, which I'm wearing right now. For all those who want to know. <laughs> <laughs> That's a side note. Um, Ew! I just say it like that. Can I touch it? Oh, yeah. <laughs> no, you can try them on after. Yes. <laughs> About it. Put it inside out. Um, but yeah, <laughs> no, like, just backwards. Uh, inside out, backwards, and upside down. Um, yeah, think, think <laughs> about think that. T- I don't think that works <laughs> upside down. Go on. You got a weird body shape. If <laughs> uh, Under Armour always has the, like some of the best quality clothing, especially sportswear stuff. That I mean, they've been had it. They're the one who I think started it. Like back in high school, everyone wanted an Under Armour hoodie that I knew. Like they started that whole tech fleece polyester. Mixed with cotton stuff. 
Um, so this stuff is really cool. It's available now at wherever you find your Under Armour stuff, like Sport Check, Under Armour.ca, all that kind of stuff. And if you haven't tried Hover yet, please try it. I love it, and I think you'll love it too. It's Hover, so no E. H, like like Spooner. But no Hover. E. Yeah. No E. They stole that from me. Spooner Hover. I'm waiting for my check. Cut the check. Uh, last week, we were invited to a thing with uh, MLSE, the Toronto Raptors, and OVO. It took place in uh, Scarborough at the Malvern uh, Community Recreation Center. It was uh, a refurbishment of a basketball court there mm-hmm. done by OVO and the Toronto Raptors. It and it was very cool. pretty damn cool. Um, I had the chance to make it. Unfortunately, we all could. Not all four of us could mm-hmm. have made it. But um, it was a really good event. It was really, really fun. I got there around 11.15 and did like a check-in. We got mm-hmm. some goodies. Then at 11.30, there was a welcoming by Akil Augustine. Nice. He's um, He yeah. is. He's, he's all he over. He just does everything. Um, so he was the MC for the day. Uh, he uh, did some opening remarks. They did uh, donation checks and stuff like that from OVO, which was nice. really, really cool. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, the court was really nice. They refurbished the thing. They didn't like redo all of the floor because I imagine that like take a lot of time and mm. it's very, very expensive. Yeah. Yeah. But they, they hooked up new backboards, I think, because it's all, it's all glass now. But then there's like a cool vinyl like sticker over it. And it's, got, it's just all black and it's branded with the OVO on That's one side and the cool, Toronto Raptors cool. logo on yeah. the other side. And then, um, right after the opening, there was a clinic for the kids. Mm-hmm. Nice. True. That was really cool to see. I feel like mm-hmm. Jomar would have had a lot of fun oh, doing yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, surprise, I saw Jamar there. Yeah. Our previous, uh, podcast Ooh. episode guest. He was really cool. He gave me a hug. For, like, I, I saw him and then I was just, no, that's just probably another black guy. And then, <laughs> and then, and then I remembered, I, and then I remembered that he did the whole, uh, so Raptors does, coaching yeah. thing for the kids and, yeah. and how he talks about how he gets Adidas gear. And I'm like, mm-hmm. oh, these guys are wearing Adidas. Uh-huh. And then I, like, cause I, I, I realized that, uh, the Raptors still have like a partnership with Adidas is, yeah. below the NBA level mm-hmm. type of thing. Mm-hmm. Uh, so it was cool. Shout out to Jamar. Young Smith three, I think that's yeah. his yep. Instagram. Yep. And then after the clinic, influencer tournament happened that was really fun i was really nervous i wasn't sure if i if if i wanted to like even play who was on your team um two people that i've that we haven't heard of okay i can i can get their names but i don't i I forgot already one one was laura i believe she was good Mm -hmm. she was a good baller and i can't remember what the other guy's name was did you get like their backgrounds or whatever like what they what they did or? I looked them up afterwards, mm-hmm. and they're both like fitness oh, cool. influencer nice. people. Lot, lots of followers. No, oh. mm. yeah, 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 same. All of us. I mean, yeah, yeah we have we fit in. We have twenty four k as well. Damn, they have a k. Yeah, they have Beside a k. Beside their number, we're Shit. almost there. We're almost there. Um, yeah, I was nervous at first, and then uh, started playing. We actually got eliminated in the semifinals. That's there dope. were there were eight teams. Oh, so you did really well. Yeah, there mm. were eight teams. Uh, it was really fun. The, the best was I uh, I was hanging out with I am Jonathan Kim shout out to mm-hmm. Brag Affair and uh, Style Democracy Jonathan Kim and I were just hanging out all day and he the, the best way he broke it down was there's a group A and then there's a group B think of group A as the West <laughs> and group B <laughs> as the East and <laughs> and we were me and mine and John's team were the were the top two teams and then the West were just monsters mm-hmm. they were they were so just whoever made it to the finals they were just monsters they were both West. <laughs> Yeah, so the way it worked is what we did a round robin, and then uh, the two best from each side faced each other. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. So group A faced group B, group mm-hmm. A versus B, group B, and um, ended up being group A versus group A. <laughs> 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 it was really really fun though. Um, there was a point where I'm just gonna I'm just gonna brag a little bit. Go. Cool. Uh, it was like our third game. I was playing against Faisal. Shout out Faisal. He was there oh, too. Oh, nice. I didn't nice. even see that. Um, and I had the ball, and I was I was outside the uh, the three point line, and Akil Augustine is commentating on on like four games at one time, <laughs> and I I didn't think he was on our game, but then I, I went for the shot, and all I hear all I hear is from downtown, <laughs> <laughs> and a swish, and I felt so good, and he's like, oh the way, and he was just hyping me up, and I got I got amped. We won that game too, so nice. I was excited. Nice. But yeah, thank you for the invite, MLSE. And Toronto Raptors and OVO. That was a really fun event. Nice. Uh, hopefully, there's going to be more some community community center refurbishments that we can that we can more. head up. Yeah, I hope so. Hopefully, there's some in in Mississauga and Brampton. 
closer. Mm-hmm. True. Yeah. Yeah. That would be cool. But I doubt it because they're not in Toronto. Correct. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's it. No pickups, right? That's it. We all shook our heads. I am by none. All right. This week in kicks. Woo! Now is the time where we discuss the current headlines and happenings of the sneaker industry. On this episode, we've got four and a half pieces on the docket. We're going to start off with e- 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 hold on. eBay Wow, and ESPN are auctioning off game-worn kicks for charity. Uh, ben Fielderston of Sneaker News says, To kick the holiday season of spending off on the right foot... <laughs> I saw your button. Uh-huh. eBay yes. will be auctioning off a number of special game worn and autograph sneakers in honor of Giving Tuesday, teaming up with ESPN in support of the V Foundation, which is a cancer research foundation. Customers will be able to log in and bid on exclusive PEs, the likes of game worn Kyrie 5, a hmm. bevy of signed Scotty Pippen retro sneakers, a Paul Pierce signed Nike Air Max P24, uh, from the NBA Finals. Wow. A uh, 2017 Champions PE from Kevin Durant's collection, mm. and mm. more. All of the auctions will be live from December no uh, November 27th through December 6th. Yeah, that's that's pretty damn cool. I like that. That's pretty damn cool. It's, and it's, is always good. It's a hefty yeah. list of of PEs too, game worn yeah. PEs, and and the fact that they're game worn and signed, it's like these were yeah. donated by the players. Yes. Okay. Yes. Nice. Yes. Yes. Very I, cool. Like that's what they said. Uh, Kevin Durant's collection. Blah blah blah. Very and like, nice. I mean, if they like, if they were game worn and and uh, they have it, I'm sure it, it did come mm. from because when the players give it away from fan to fans during the game, I don't think those fans will be like, oh, let's give it up for yeah, auction. True. Yeah, true. <laughs> let's keep it. No, they're auctioning <laughs> no, it off for money, yeah, money. <laughs> for their foundation. Sure. Uh, next on the docket, LeBron and Nike's new China campaign is super dope. Uh, T.S. Fox of Sneaker Freaker says, building on the hashtag more than an athlete movement, the new campaign takes on the idea that King James should just shut up and dribble. Mm. Something conservative Fox News host Laura Ingram infamously suggested James should do instead of criticizing President Donald Trump. Dubbed, the campaign is dubbed Dribble and Blank, created by longtime swoosh partners Wyden and Kennedy faces the notion head on and encourages athletes and basketball players in particular to do far more than just dribble. Um, there's like one piece. I'll just read it. Actually. It's really nice. Um, <clears throat> this is like the, the lead image. Uh, LeBron James proved basketball players are bigger than points, MVPs and rings. LeBron has greatness on court and off. He turned basketball into power to create schools, give kids a future, build businesses, Spotlight issues of inequality. Speak for those without a voice. To be a role model. Movie star. Movie star. Space Jam 2. Coach. Mm -hmm. Father. Uh, Power to prove you don't have to shut up and dribble. You can be more than an athlete. You can dribble and graduate. Dribble and CEO. Dribble and speak up. Dribble and be you. And then it ends off with dribble and and blank. Blank. Like a block square. Mm. That's super dope. Um, Something that popped up in our feeds today... Nike SB, the dunk book. Yep. Ooh, yeah. Ooh, yeah. I need a copy that. of this book, but it looks like I'll have to wait for the second edition because apparently this book features a fake pair of What the Dunks. I want that edition. Me yeah. too. It's still available in some places. I looked you, into it. Yeah. How I, does it feature? They just took what? So the, the book was, I guess, curated by Nike SB. Yes. And Ooh. it's essentially a mini history of... Nike Dunk SBs, and I don't know, actually maybe just SB in general, maybe not just Dunks. Oh, no, I it's, it's an called SB dunk. the Dunk Book, SB so it's yeah, definitely it's, Dunk. It's called Nike SB colon the Dunk Book. The Dunk Book, yeah. Um, and it's just a bunch of pictures and I believe stories about a ton of different. It's like yeah. three hundred pages. Or something. I want it so dunk bad. Dunk SBs. Um, so Nike SB today, I think it was today, posted their like promo picture of it on their official page, and it says a look at the most iconic Nike SB silhouette. And the stories that brought it to life. 16 years and counting, over 350 pages, and a special introduction introduction by Sandy, Sandy Bodecker. Sandy Bodecker. The Ooh. Dunk Book is out now in skate oh, shops God. and select online retailers. Yeah, so you can find it in some dollars. places. Third, third party, the one on Amazon.ca. Mm-hmm. I, I check that every day. Mm-hmm. So You can save $4. Though. There was a little... <laughs> There was a little controversy because I think it was originally Nike SB or nothing on Instagram who posted when he got the book going through it, 
a pair of very questionable what the dunks. Oh, more than um, questionable. Yeah, the pigeon looked like it had some sort of disease. Yeah, the pigeon <laughs> looked like a crow. Um, so obviously it caused a big uproar. And now that they Nike SB officially posted it on IG, like the promo for it, Nike SB or nothing comment. And he said, can you please explain the fake what the dunks in the book? And yep. Nike SB responded, replied to him and said, in the process of shooting 200 plus dunks, we shot a fake and it slipped through the print. Hashtag limited first edition. Wow. Yeah. That hashtag makes me want the first edition. Yep. Yeah, because they said that, it makes me want it. <laughs> but at the same time, it's like, how do you... As if Even you're if you're Nike, shooting 200 plus, you're exactly that's an your excuse. Nike. Yeah. There's no excuse. Yeah. yeah. There's no excuse. And even if they contracted out this whole project to a third party Still or something... No it I was going to say, very... someone had to approve this process. Yeah. I go through this daily as yeah. a graphic designer, mm -hmm. and we get blamed for mistakes all the time. But someone, the client, Nike, Nike... You goofed. Someone goofed at Nike. Yeah, 100%. or the publisher. Who the hell is the publisher? Well, Who's I mean, I mean, shit? Nike is. I, I think Nike will be the one to be like. The publisher doesn't know that she was fake. No, they're no, just they're doing it. They're, they're making it for it Nike. And, yeah, 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 they're making it. Definitely it. comes down to Nike not doing their due diligence. Who, or who, yeah, whoever you can't, you can't blame it on two hundred plus. How many no. shoes have you made in the whole lifetime yeah. of your brand? Like you and what the dunks of all the shoes? Yeah, the arguably one of the best ones they yeah. have. If it was something like some next, I don't know, some next whatever pair. It's meant. It's meant. If you it's could even meh. question, is it real? Yeah. Or is that fake? Like, what's going on? Like, whatever. Yeah. But what the dunks? Like, the, one of the most coveted pairs. Visibly very bad. Yeah. Somebody lost their job. <laughs> <laughs> or got a warning you or have something. One job. Yeah. You have Seriously, one job. though. Check the pairs first. <laughs> Not an excuse. Man. No. No. It, no. You can, yeah, the comparison, right? <laughs> no, but like, how do you. No, it's not even that. It's just like. I don't know. Oh, the the excuse is not an excuse. It's not an excuse. Like, no. <sighs> yeah. How dare you? Am I right? For a uh, brand that seems to pay so much attention to detail in everything they do, yeah, you can't have no. Yeah. You can't have slip ups. You have the highest expectations from all of us. Yeah, we hold them to the highest standard. And like, this is this you is can't, a, you can't reply with that as an no, excuse. Come on, dog. Like, like someone goofed. Someone. Go I mean, you can because no, that's super can't. PR. You have to say something. Yeah, you, you have to address you, it. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, but address it in a different way. You can't. That's not an excuse, bro. And anyone, it, it, it should have just been, we goofed. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> that would have been better than oh, we, we took two hundred plus pictures. Yeah. Who gives a fuck? You probably took a yeah, thousand yeah, pictures. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you you're telling to, me you fucked up. Still. You're so right. And you had to get the shoe. You're you had so to buy right, it. Bro. You had to look at the picture to buy it. I'm you're sure right, they had to. You're pick right, it up bro. Tell them, bro. You should comment on that too. No one looked at the book before they went sent it to print. Like the first copy, they went like flipping through and like. Yeah, it looks yeah. good. Like, well, whoever, <laughs> just like, yeah. wow. Yeah, the page is great. <laughs> that looks about right. Yeah, this is definitely glossy. You know, card this talk. is a book. <laughs> well done. At least don't, I mean, it would have been, at least look at the pictures. You don't Something. have to read anything. Yeah. Don't you should read, be doing everything. Don't read if shit. you're Nike, you should be reading every colon punctuation yeah. mark. What hurts is like, this isn't a tribute book from, by someone else. This isn't like some next fan art page that was the thing, main thing. Uh -huh. this is the nike, nike thing, this is titled nike sb colon the dunk book yeah, yeah. <laughs> this is done by nike sb to commemorate their history uh -huh. i think it's embarrassing it's yeah. super embarrassing the guy who probably replied is the guy that probably yeah, he's like, yeah, let me read the book. Yeah. Let me read the book. Uh, yeah, yeah, you didn't read shit. <laughs> yeah, that was Nike SB. We'd like four copies, Just, please. I'd still want it definitely. of the first edition and for second sure. edition. We'll review it for you. That's wild. Yeah, we'll tell you it's fake if you want. <laughs> yeah, too late. Yeah, <laughs> super unfortunate. S M H. That's a poop. <laughs> that's a poop. <laughs> a poop. -poop. Oh, hard poop, bro. A poop. -poop. It's, like, poop. it's like a that's, diarrhea. Table. That's a new. That's a new one. That's like worse than poop. Poop. -de -poop. <laughs> Speaking of poop de poop, Kawhi Leonard signs the new book. <laughs> That's horrible. Oh, uh, so, according to Yahoo Sports, Leonard has inked a multi year deal with New Balance. This comes after rumors over the spring that Leonard would be leaving the brand upon his contract's expiration in October. This, this. This was not a... Sh no, we're not making fun of New Balance. <laughs> that was a bad segue. <laughs> yeah. The um, only reason I say it's poop-de-poop -poop is because that means we're not going to get that 
KL hand logo anymore, oh, yeah. which is one of my favorite signature logos KW, right KW. now. KW, KW. Yeah, but now it's going to be on sale. So K- KL, oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. I was yeah. thinking of Kyle Lowry at yeah. the same time. That's also KL. Cool. I was thinking... I was <laughs> thinking... <laughs> Kawhi. No, I know. <laughs> Kawhi. Um, Kawhi. Yeah, uh, his last name is Y. Kawhi. I goofed. Kawhi. Yeah, that KL logo is like one <laughs> of my favorite. Hashtag limited first edition, okay? <laughs> Let me go. KW logo. <laughs> Looks about right. Like a, a hand with seven fingers. <laughs> <laughs> Shut your face. That's the only reason I don't well, like it. Well, now we'll get it with New Balance. Yeah. So hopefully they do it justice and give them a cool little logo. Yeah. yeah so that was definitely one of my favorite logos. Um, it definitely, I think it fits. But wait. Better than anything I could ever think of for Kawhi Leonard. But wait. Um, blah, blah, blah. Rumors over the spring Leonard would be leaving the brand upon his contract's expiration in October. New Balance declined to comment on this story. Meanwhile, ESPN's Tim Bontomps reports yeah, yeah, yeah. that Leonard arrived to practice in socks and <laughs> says the deal isn't official yet. He arrived in, in socks. socks, like New Balance socks, just, like just, just socks, socks. Or just, just no socks. shoes, just socks. <laughs> Kawhi Leonard, who showed up to his interview at Toronto's practice facility today in socks, said he wasn't agreed. He hasn't agreed to a deal with New Balance yet. Yet, it's not official. Leonard said. Me and New Balance have it. <laughs> I don't know if he was laughing. It doesn't say LOL. It's um, not official because they haven't sent them his shoes yet. Yeah, yeah. That's why he's he in said, socks. He yo. said, me and New Balance haven't announced anything yet. 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 If they're saying... That, that's yes. If he's saying yet, Oh, yes. yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh, sorry. Mean. No, not yet. I apologize. That's a wrong quote. Me and New Balance haven't announced anything. Full stop. Period. Oh, okay. End quote. That's still not a no. So it's a yes to me. Well, he said it's not official. Not official, but now it's official. No, I know some guy, some dude we, at Yahoo Sports, is like Leonard. <laughs> we we made it official yeah, right yeah. now. <laughs> it's gonna it's gonna happen. I think it's very fitting if it when it happens. So he's gonna get a signature shoe. Most he should, def, yeah. He most should. Def. If New Balance is or not least, playing around, or at least a colorway in in his in those. Uh, not a colorway, B. They gotta give him a signature shoe. It's Kawhi Leonard, bro. I think he's gonna start in a just a colorway. Because yeah. they're just coming back to basketball. Like, yeah. they paid that high school kid a million dollars or something. Yeah, oh, that's true. They're probably, it's going to be like a, I think it's going to be a Puma situation. Speaking yeah. of Puma. Yeah, but I think they'll have back like, to basketball. A, because they have a basketball shoe. A basketball shoe. A. Yeah. He'll probably run those for a Yeah, and a, and, a, and a colorway with maybe but a But like, logo. M- new tech or whatever mm-hmm. on it, but yeah. just same structure, same like aesthetic. Maybe they'll get him one for All Star Weekend. Yeah. yeah, a Raptor colorway. Mm-hmm. If he makes it on the All Star team. Oh, he will. He. He has to yeah, for the, the East. The East is shit yeah, right yeah, now. So. I know, that's what I'm saying. Um, I think it's very fitting. He's not like a quick guy. He's a fun guy, but he's not a quick guy. Like, I think it's fine. It doesn't really matter what he plays in. True. He's not a high flyer or anything. True. He's he's a new balance guy. Yeah, he's a well-balanced man. When he wow, is 65. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> I had that, that in good. the chamber. <laughs> when he's 65, he'll be wearing New Balance. Yeah. yeah. Five, seven, no. four. And living in Orangeville. For sure. <laughs> with a farm. Having fun. He'll always have yeah. his New Balance. Yeah. So. <laughs> with a farm. With a farm. Yeah. That way, he'll never lose balance as an old guy. Correct. <laughs> yep. He'll find it every day like it's new. Yes. <laughs> Speaking of Puma. <laughs> Speaking of basketball. Speaking of stuff. horrible segues. What was what's the name of the seven-footer? DeAndre the guy who rolled his ankle. The, who, rookie, sorry? Rookie, no? DeAndre Aiden. <laughs> Alvin, I just took in that's your answer. That's, a, that's his last name, guy who rolled ankle. <laughs> DeAndre, DeAndre Aiton. Aiton? He's yes. good, though. He got up after. Yeah. Yes. It was just a he fall. Did. <clears throat> I, was lost it? his footing. So what happened? He lost his footing. So what happened last night was a individual playing for Phoenix. I think he plays for Phoenix. DeAndre Aiton mm-hmm. got super crossed up. Yeah, and got... Literally, it's the, one of the funniest falls I think I've ever seen in the NBA. <laughs> He kind of just topples, like falls over like a tree, <laughs> um, and just yeah, goes like. <laughs> um, and of course, once again, was wearing the Puma Clyde Court Disrupt. I don't think it's a coincidence anymore. Um, I still am on the side of it could have happened in any shoe. No, it could have for sure. It just, just sucks that it happened to a that Puma. It didn't yeah? Because just... we see crossovers on House of Highlights every day. People yeah, falling over. That's what I'm. Mm. Karma's a bitch, though. What happened? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I was a just, bitch though. I like, just took that in. I'm just saying, like, here's my expert it. opinion. 
I think that then if you're gonna if you're gonna say that he's seven foot, it looks so funny. It does. <laughs> <laughs> Can I go on? Hold on, I'm giving an expert opinion because I'm so it, good. Because no, I play I'm basketball every it. day. He so played two days ago. <laughs> he's seven foot. He's seven foot tall. And 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 the way it looks to me is that he plants his foot like he's planted. No, he's not. And then and then the foot just decides to just flop over. To me, no, what his, it looked like is he like started on, his, on an on his, angle. Yeah, he his, never planted properly, and he started on the corner. This and is just, the sole of the shoe. No, he, I, it was like this, and it was. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> For those who didn't see, I don't know. It was this. It, to me, it, it looks <laughs> it looks really quickly that he plants, and then it twists it. further as he keeps push as he keeps moving. If he planted, it would have been a worse. He, would have, wouldn't, he wouldn't have gone up. Yeah, if he planted. Well, that's what I mean because it looks like the shoe collapses so easily. And then it then it continues to roll. No, like it, he, so. So he just landed on the side like, of his I foot. Think he landed, landed right on the corner. corner. Like right yeah. On the corner. So like because it's so flat. That's Joel, why he Joel fell so image. quick. Yeah, he yeah. just lands on the He's, corner. It got caught. The gripping on the side of the outsole is so good that it didn't <laughs> let him move off <laughs> on of the, the floor. outside of the. Midsole. I don't know. It looks like he plants and then he flips. Anyways, I think we're split Either down way. the middle. What do you think, Joel? You think is it the shoes? Do you know? Do you know? Do you know? Yes. Yeah, if you it's see the shoe, the shoe, the grip, man. It's it's grip, man. I think it's just he's not a good defender because he's a rookie. Well, it's also the <laughs> then then like Puma needs to give big man a different shoe, or you need to give a proper roll guard to these shoes. I agree. Yeah, I don't think there's a roll guard. I, on there. There is no, no, there is no roll guard. So it's the shoe. Yeah. But it's not the shoe. It's the because shoe because he was Hold gonna on. fall no matter what. It's the shoe. Yeah. Bring up the shoe. What does the shoe look like? <laughs> it's the shoe. Expert opinion. It's the it's the gripping, so it's the shoe. <laughs> nah, he never had Alvin, it. Okay, Alvin's still watching. The <laughs> He's laughing. Our errors, emissions, and e messages on this segment. We gather callouts, corrections, comments, and concerns from you, our listeners. We've only got one e message today. This is from Chef Creasel from Toronto. Hey, yeah. wow. he says he says that on episode thirty eight, that was the first Hugh story that he beat you guys on. What? LOL. Prove it. Take that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I know. He's Prove got it. Chef, <laughs> chef, if record you... Record uh, yourself listening. Yeah, 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 yeah. I was going to say. But then he could just re-record. No, no, he's got to do video. Live. He's got to do video. Oh, okay. oh I see yeah, what you mean. Yeah, but he could just can... re-record. Yeah, that's true. Either you got to you gotta FaceTime. Get out here you gotta and FaceTime. prove it. That's what I'm saying. Come, uh, on. Come on here and take the belt from me. Let's go. <laughs> continues to say... I think he does want to come on, actually, so that would be cool. Reach. He says, uh, great episode as usual. I have basically stopped listening to music and rotate through four podcasts. I always look forward to it, man. Uh, it takes me about 35 minutes to get to work, so I can Sick. usually kill an episode in two trips. Thanks, bro. Much love, true, bro. True. Yeah, Much real. love. Right back to you, Appreciate Chef Rizzo. You, yeah, We're man. better at music anyways. We're better at music? Yeah. <clears throat> Da ba da ba ba da, your story. We got more bars. In That's this. it. Bars. Bars. One bar. Bars. Yeah, New Balance. <laughs> um, promos. Oh shoot! By the time this comes out, it's already day one of the countdown. Let's Damn. go. Okay, so basically, we'll just talk about it now. Um, I haven't really like finalized. Is it Saturday's final. The yeah, Saturday. Like today's bro. the first day. Mm, the day this comes out. Today's right now, the first day. day one. Right now, when you're listening, it's the first unless day, you're guys. listening on Monday, then it's day three. Yeah, then you're yeah, slacking. Everyone listens yeah. on the first day. Yeah, only. It's very true. but it's okay. We still um, appreciate it. So, countdown to 2019. If you're not familiar with it, we did it oh, last shoot. year, which was countdown to 2018. Better so plan. technically, we didn't do it. We um, did. <laughs> you need to actually. Uh, how do I say this? So the entire month. We challenge everyone to wear a different pair of shoes every day. Yeah. Uh-huh. And to entice everyone to do a different wear pair of shoes every day, uh-huh. even in the winter, we uh, are going to come up with different prizes for you guys and yeah. challenges throughout the month. Um, and so basically how this works is every day you post a shoe fee. So on foot only counts. And you have to use the hashtag CGS2028, 2019, my bad. And that means, uh, that equals one entry as long as you post it by midnight. On mm-hmm. that day. On yeah. that day. On that day. Um, although I realize that maybe if they're on the West Coast, then it's like 3 a.m. for us. That's okay. We'll figure out the, yeah, it'll yeah, still yeah. say like, we were fine that, last yeah. year. So um, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I was fine last year. We were fine last uh, year. Uh, four prizes will be given away, each bigger than the next. 
Hopefully, we get the same uh, same thing going on this year. Mm-hmm. Word. Uh, I'm literally just reading off of last year's rules. Contest <laughs> starts at December 1st and ends on December 31st. So prizes will be raffled off and announced uh, in the new year. Mm-hmm. Stay mm-hmm. tuned because throughout our stories and, and throughout the month, we'll be posting different ways to get bonus entries. Special, Word. Um, Special things. So we, we've, we've got a couple things planned out. Prizes will be announced soon enough. Uh, Canadian family only. Sorry. Can, can win yeah. a prize. Anyone can participate. Yeah. We would love everyone but in the world. But super special shout out to Ryan Swanger from last year who Word. also, who, yeah. Texas, Texas brethren. What up? Uh, he, he participated every day. Mm-hmm. And he you, killed it. In the States. Yeah, he did he kill it. Yeah, if you it. do happen to participate from outside of the great we'll white figure something north, out. We'll figure we will something definitely out. notice, yeah. don't worry, and we will so, definitely yeah, 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 yeah. figure something out. So let, yeah. us, let us know where you're from as well in these posts. Word. That would help. Um, so yeah. I think that's it for promos. Do we have anything coming up? I'm excited Any events and stuff? No? Can't mm. wait. No, no, no. Mm. Okay, cool. I basically already kind of started, to be honest. Well, gonna, with I'm your I'm going to do an 11 week, and I yeah. started today, so a little bit early, but I'm going to miss like a large chunk because I'm leaving for 10 days, so mm-hmm. oh, I should have started a little bit earlier anyways. Those don't count anyways, because contest starts at December 1st. Yeah, I know. I'm sorry. I'm, pro- I'm going to lose anyways. I'm not going to get all 31. No. We're also not allowed to win this. <laughs> <laughs> We're not? Why am I no. doing a countdown? Uh, <laughs> We're cheerleaders. Because we have to support everyone no, else that does it for us and with us. We're going to do it. Okay. Mm-hmm. Let's move on to Canada Got Soul Presents. The True to Size Awards. <sighs> Well, I don't know why I wanted it to sound John like Cena? John Cena. Yeah. yeah. Cena. <laughs> okay. How are we gonna do this? Um, I was thinking we make it a collaboration between us and the listeners. Okay. All, all eight of them. Thanks for all of you. That's we. Aaron, that's Shafrizo. like a good. <laughs> <laughs> Our Australian bro. Uh, Tara and Ahmad. Mama Martinez. That's four. Yeah. Yeah. At least eight. Yeah. Least eight. Ish. Okay. Yeah. Um, eight-ish. I was thinking we come up with the categories slash like the awards we'll give away. Um, and the listeners will help us narrow down like nominations. Ah, mm. like it. Right. Nice. So they'll, so they'll give us like their suggestions for who belongs to what. And then we will eventually come to a consensus and decide, uh, in like another episode or two, which the shoes winners. are the nominees. Mm, oh, okay. And, the and then, and then, um, spoiler alert, we're going to take a break on the week of Christmas. So no podcast that week. Mm-hmm. Enjoy your family time yes. and boxing day weekend. Yes. Uh, or weekday. Is it a Whatever. week? It's, it's a weekday. Yeah. It's a, it's a week. Wednesday, I think. It is a Wednesday. Um, yeah. and then we're going to come back in the new year. Yeah. And that's when we'll announce the, the, the true to size 2019 award winners. Mm-hmm. I have, yeah. I have, a, I have. Does that a, sound good? An award name. I'm gonna show up in a tuxedo that day. I think. Yeah. Yeah. Like, like a Canadian a, tuxedo. The Oscars. I'm gonna show up in a Canadian tuxedo. Either that or like. Oh, a suit. Oh, I like that. Like a. Like I'm a, gonna show up in my birthday like a suit. Birthday. Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> Sucks. Well, you got a birthday suit. I got a birthday tux. You know what I mean? Mm, <laughs> you have a tail. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's a freaking monkey. He's a monkey. Tail and a bow tie. Bow. All right, all right. So obviously, shoe of the year. Sati. Shoe of the year. Sotai. Soti. Collab of the year? So, yes. Koti. Koti. New new silhouette? Could do that. New mm-hmm. silhouette of the best, year. Best best new silhouette. Yep. It's like rookie of the year almost. Ooh. Ooh oh, that's what we'll call it. Scratch that. Yeah, rookie. We'll of the call year. it rookie of the year. I like that, Lawrence. We roti. Do, we could do roti. Mm. <laughs> Love roti bro. We could do a similar NBA one, so we could even do like most improved brand. Yeah. Like which brand oh. has spiced it up for 2018 oh, compared truth. to 2017? <sighs> Good one. Most improved brand. I'm writing this down, guys. So listeners, please bear with me. Um. I didn't want to type it, or else you'll hear just the entire time. <laughs> Um, that's collab of the year, right? Yep, collab Cody. of the year. Cody. Then we've got rookie, rookie of, of the year, year. Yep. most improved and, and of, the of the year. Shoe of the year, most improved. Um, should we do? Uh, we like could do retro a, of the year. Yeah, like Jordan. Oh, of the year. Jordan specific. There's so many Jordans yeah. that we could do that. Yeah, best Jordan. I was gonna say even just best one from each brand. Ooh, best oh, best Nike yeah. SB. Yeah, best each brand. The best okay, Adidas, okay. Best, okay, okay. Yeah. Best, best. Best of the best. And then we can narrow those ones down into mm. shoe of the year, I guess. No, 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 no. Well, because I'm assuming the best from the brand will also be the shoe of the year. So 
So it'll be like tournament stats. Well, I mean, Not we're, we're going to get style. all the suggestions all at one time anyway, so it's, it's whatever. Yeah. All of the shoes that belong in the best of those brands will probably end up in the best yeah, of the year. I mean. yeah. Yeah. Uh, shoe of the year candidacy type of thing. Anyway. Or it'll be like an East versus West, like you said, and there'll be Ooh. 12 Nike shoes and one Adidas shoe or something. Yeah, yeah, true, yeah. true, true. Knowing us, probably. Yeah, maybe. What Most else? Likely. What else could it be? Oh, when you say retro of the year, do you mean Jordan or like something that was brought back? Something brought back. Anything. Ooh. I like that. I like that. So definitely best of the best and then something that was brought back. Best throwback. Yes. Best throwback. That's okay. It. Throwback. Yep. Yeah. Best Instagram photo. I was thinking that too. From anybody. Best best feed. We'll do best feed. Our favorite feed. Yeah. Favorite feed. Favorite Canada IG God feed. Souls wins this one. <laughs> Yep. No um, podcast of the year. <laughs> <laughs> this is just us high fiving ourselves for two hours. Ep- epi- episode of the year. Episode of the year. Ooh, nice. guest of the year. Oh, so Ooh, that's nice. that's episode of the year. That's up to the that's up to the, the, yeah. the audience yeah, for sure. Yeah. Well, yeah. we can definitely vote on our arts as well. No, which one we like? Yeah. No. You don't have a favorite episode. I do. There's been way too many. All We've of done my like ten I don't know, you guys. Yeah. Uh. I've I equally worked on every episode uh like I do. So all of them are my babies, so I can't pick one. True to size is my favorite episode. Episode of the year. This is shoes though, shoes, not not like content. Isn't that just true to size awards? It can be anything we want. Best yeah. microphone? Blue. No, easily red. Bears. Red Which easily. bear is best? Shout out to my office fans for that. <laughs> no. No. Um, I think that's it. I think we got all of it. Can we list those it? back? List those back real Shoe quick. Shoe of the year. Yeah. Collab of the year. Uh, rookie of the year. Mm-hmm. Most improved brand. Uh, best Jordan. Well, best, best. So, like, best basically best of each brand. Yeah. yeah. Um, best throwback, which is, like, is, the throw, is the retro. So, best comeback, I guess. Yeah. Oh. Best comeback. Yeah. Um, and then we're going to go best feed and episode of the year. That one's strictly audience. Audience vote. Audience. We're probably going to get like four four votes for that one. That's fine. As long as it's not a 2-2 tie. No, it's probably going to be four different episodes. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's going to be four different guests voting for their episode. Yeah. <laughs> that would be the best, though. That would be the best. Uh, Ooh, um, best new technology. Yeah, we can Ooh, do that. Yeah. yeah, best new tech. I haven't been playing paying attention to the basketball heat, so I can't really comment on um best like we'll play on court. Just go to a local Foot Locker and try a bunch of shit on run around in the store. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> see what we like. <laughs> Sprint out the store. <laughs> I think that's it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I can't think of anything else. <clears throat> okay. Yeah. All right. So, you guys to recap. To but early... if anyone else has ideas. Yeah, if you guys have yeah, any yeah, ideas, yeah, yeah. suggestions. Up, we've got a couple weeks. <clears throat> yeah. Do you guys have any early front runners you can think of or want to save all of it? Shoe of the year. What do you guys think? Uh, Lunar Glide 9. <laughs> oh, no. Pegasus 35. Yeah. Running shoes. Yeah. It's fucking massive. It's amazing. It's beautiful. I have to recap what came out this year, <laughs> to be honest with you. Um, I think I have a couple in mind, but I don't know if I want to spoil them. Were now. the water spoons this year? Yeah, that's what oh, I was thinking. Oh, shit. That's oh, it's going to be so tough. Bio Beige, JTH. Mm-hmm. Oh, my God. That was all this year? It's been a busy year. Yeah. But it feels like so. It feels like it's been so long ago, but it feels like this year has been just flying. Yeah, at the same time. Yeah. Short, long year. Like when we started yeah. this episode in my head, I was like, wow, it feels like we haven't done this in a fucking month. <laughs> Imagine we take a week off. Oh, it's gonna be a year. It's gonna break my heart. I probably mm-hmm. just end up recording on my own See in bed or something year. like that. Hi guys, this is True to Size. <laughs> my name is Ellen Martinez. I'm joined by no one. Good night. Um, <laughs> yeah. So, what's our final list we got there? Okay, shoe of the year, time. collab of the year. Oh, that's gonna be exciting. Collab of the year. Mm-hmm. I, was, I was, I had a, I had something else in mind earlier today, and I can't remember anymore. Rookie of the year, most improved brand. Uh, best of the best per brand, mm-hmm. best uh, best comeback, mm-hmm. uh, best feed, best episode of True to Size. Mm-hmm. I-, I would get heartbroken if anyone else 
another podcast. Um, Episode 100 of the Sneaker Podcast. <laughs> I wrote down best new tree. Oh, tech. Best new technology. Tech. Best new tree? Tech. I treat. the mango haze, dog. Wow. Um, <laughs> wow. Do uh, most slept on. Ooh, yes. oh, yeah. oh, most underrated. Most underrated. overrated. Overrated and underrated. Ooh. Good one, Alvin. I'm sure we could look into doing like a Google Forms for this, maybe. We could look into that and just put in the link in our or, bio. Or uh, what we could do is do a post and then people can comment. So mm. like so like we'll go shoe of the year post yeah let's do that and then, then everyone everyone's can, gonna see it though. everyone comments suggestions if well that, suggestions that's fine anyway. it's just suggestions because because yeah. then we'll we can do the nominations and stuff later yeah. on. it'll cause like discussion within Debate. our posts yeah. yeah 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 or stories and then people can swipe up and and whatnot yeah swipe up yeah swipe oh yeah up we can do the ask me yeah. thing yeah like put it in yeah, our yeah, post yeah, and yeah. do the mm. what's shoe of the year and then people can reply. Ooh. That little whatever yeah, that yeah, thing yeah, is yeah, called. Yeah. 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 yeah I'm, oh, I'm just waiting for my bus. Ask me anything. <laughs> yeah. Oh, can't yeah. go to sleep. Ask me yeah. something. Yeah. yeah. yeah I'm, bored at, I'm bored at work. Ask me something. <laughs> I'm half naked. Ask me oh, something. Oh, wow, wow, wow. <laughs> Whoa. Who are you following? <laughs> Beer things. Like <laughs> <laughs> Show me. Um, hi, Christine. Uh, okay. I think that's it. Until we come up with more, I guess. Or we get some suggestions from you guys. We'll <gasps> do one of those Ooh. posts this week. Yeah. Best PE. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Best customized. I guess shoe shoe of the year. We could also do like unreleased. So PE, yeah. Best unreleased shoe of the year, like sample PE, yeah. Okay, yeah. PE well, slash so, sample. So just best PE, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Best PE. Uh, best customer customizer. What the fuck am I writing? Was that my first f bomb of this episode? I don't know. Mom, I'm getting better. <laughs> Mom. Customizer. Yeah. Well, I mean, there's only four to choose from, so that one's easy. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, I can't think of anything else off the top of my head Best right now. Best shoe cleaner? There's only like three. Shoevenator, Crep, and Jason Mark. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Right? I know my vote. Yeah, I can't think of anything else. Jason Mark, can you sponsor the podcast, please? <laughs> uh, Okay, that's it. So we'll do either a story or a post. I think we're going to aim for the story because that's going to just be cleaner and easier. Yeah, it's much easier. Yeah. Easier? Oh, no, it's not because then we got to sift through all the DMs. We can't record it, though. Like, we can't. We gotta sift through all the DMs. It it oh, you're show right. Up. You can save. It saves it. Does it? It saves them. Our, all all our stories. Hours. All our stories are saved. Oh, in archives. On, on our archives. Yeah. Yes. Do you know so about the, archives? The now? results will be saved. Ooh. Yeah. Okay, so maybe we'll, we'll we'll figure it out. Yeah, we'll figure that out. Yeah. yeah, yeah. If anything, we won't start until next next week. Like yeah, we'll give it a little bit of time. Let it burn. Let people get some suggestions. I'm excited. This should be fun. This is this is fun. I think. Yeah, it's like the Grammys. Yeah. 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 <laughs> it's like the it's like the Grammys. No big deal. No big deal. Wow. All right. Alvin does follow some things up. <laughs> All right. Uh so that's it. Please keep an eye out for the True to Size Awards posts and story things. This should be fun. This should be fun. This should be really cool. Mm-hmm. Especially because we get to interact with y'all. All eight of you. Moving on. To the time where we go into the game show within a podcast. I'm sorry, I forgot to press play, you guys. <laughs> the theme song came in a little I bit. I didn't know late. if you were done your intro. You I was waiting for a point or yeah, a cue. No, yeah. no. Okay, that's my fault it was then. Like a I need slow to burn. We yeah. need to okay. Well in order for you to, to, to get comfortable with it, I need to give you that the... something, yeah. Yeah, Throw all right, it. all right. Like, lob it. You yeah, lob it. I got you, I got you. Lob I, got you. It. I can't wait to go to go live and people can see me just actually throw something at you. That's gonna be the best. <laughs> like a Welcome item. Yeah, like a soft <laughs> basketball. Welcome everyone to another episode of Hugh Story. We have three contestants today, and this is how we play. The answer comes from a category, either silhouette, colorway, or sneaker, which is a combination of both. I will go down a list of hints, each getting more and more detailed, leading them to hopefully the answer. The contestants will buzz in by saying their name. They get one guess each. The first one to get it correct is the champion for seven days. The one to be knocked off the helm is Mr. Lawrence L. Doggy Styles Hopkins. I don't know where my like voice came from. I just started talking like all like <laughs> the champion of the week. Oh, I was going to say the answer again. I got to stop doing that. Joel, you need to stop looking at my monitor. I'm not even kidding. Okay. <laughs> Are you guys ready for hint numero uno? Yes. Mm-hmm. 
Is it a colorway or a shoe? Oh, the category. Oh, please. Sorry, nice. I need to reteach myself how to play the game. <laughs> the category this week is silhouette. Okay. Ooh. So not not colorway or sneaker, just just the just the shoe, just the silhouette. Features midfoot strap. I love that the three of you sort of zone into your own heads. <laughs> midfoot <laughs> strap. Midfoot strap. Yep, yep. Yep. This is on the bulkier side of footwear. The upper looks like a tiger ran its claws down the side on both sides of the shoe. It belongs in the lineage of footwear for a professional athlete who played both football and baseball. <laughs> Come on, bro. You know this one. Notable know teams were the Atlanta Braves, San Francisco 49ers. Doom. Alvin, are you Googling it? <laughs> Dude, yeah. You can't Google it. Oh, no, he can't. He's, he's buzzing that- in. Oh, I have to. Wow. You have to say the you name. Have to name. I know too. Diaz yeah. <laughs> Sanders. Yeah, you have to know it. the name. I don't know the name. Sorry, I'm out. Oh, oh Lawrence. Man. Lawrence. Oh, oh Alvin now. didn't say his name. Alvin no, because I'm hesitant. Oh, I know I Lawrence. Know, I know, I know. So the diamond turf. That's yes. Which one? Two. No. Oh, oh like, what? <laughs> it's all. <up> to <laughs> so it's just the. Well, this, you got the, this is the third shoe. The number, in, just the this, number. This is the third shoe in the line. Well, fuck. No. If I oh. it. <laughs> Alvin. Alvin. Diamond turf. Give me the. Do you guys know the full name? You got to give me the full name. It wasn't Air just Zoom. the diamond turf. This one in particular had like a full. Zoom diamond. Close, Joel. Nah. I'm I'm dropping more hints. Um, Ninety something. This features an Air Max unit in the heel. Released in 1996, the athlete's name is Deion Sanders. Yeah. That's what it was. The Air Max, or the Air DT Max. Mm. So the uh, Air Diamond Turf Max 96. Oh, that's cute. You guys can blame uh, Michael Williams, who gave us the fire round nice. last week. Holy smokes. He gave us, uh, he gave us the suggestion that's for this one. Like, that's, that's very specific. That's yeah. That's yeah. a good one. I had to. I had to. If I... Yeah. If, if I had Man. done the full lineage, you know what I mean? If I so, still work that full So that's here. something to be careful for. That's some meta game type of shit right mm-hmm. there because if you know that he had four four shoes in his line, you don't you got to you got to figure out which one, especially if it's silhouette. So from Soul Collector, originally known as Air DT Max, this was the third signature sneaker for Deion Sanders, originally released in 1996. When they were retroed for the first time in 2008, they took on the name Air DT Max 96. Mm-hmm. And still go by that name since the retro. They feature a midfoot strap synthetic leather upper with perforations throughout and throughout and an air sole unit in the heel. Thanks, Michael Williams. That was a good one. That was good, man. Yeah. We were still working at foot when they got retro together. Yeah, that was the two. I think the three of oh. you, if you guys were a team, you would have figured it out. No, I wouldn't have got that. No. No. No, Air I don't, D- Air I don't D- know D- the specific oh, names. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Yeah. I just, so, know, the I just know it as the diamond <laughs> yeah. turf. Yeah. For that, then. As soon as you said mid strap, yeah. And the I will leave the tiger. Michael Williams to decide. DM me, Michael Williams, who the champion is for this week. I think I think Alvin technically does does it, maybe because he he just said time and turf. Three. I don't know. We'll figure it out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so if you and turf, so technically Lawrence still yeah, that's true. So Michael Williams, you decide. Uh, if you've wins. got it, <laughs> no one wins. We all lose. Okay, damn. If you've got a suggestion for Hugh's story, hit me up at underscore Spooner, no E. Thank you for everyone who uh, has supported us and has been part of this podcast. Wherever are you taking the, this episode, please leave a comment, review, follow, and or subscribe. Any of those would mean the world to us. We have a Facebook group called CGS Talk. That's facebook.com slash group slash CGS dot talk, where we talk it up and sell some things. CanagotSoul.ca for our latest reviews, event recaps, and sneaker life stories. Now, if you'd like to join us on True to Size, if you have any questions or suggestions for Fire Round or any feedback, shoot us a DM or email us at CanadaGodSoul at gmail.com. My name is Alan Martinez, and I am at underscore Spooner, no E. I'm Joel Hernandez. You can find me at Joe Dooney, J-O underscore D, three O's N-E-Y. This was Lawrence. That is at L Doggy Styles on Instagram. Woof. It's your boy, Alvin Quincy. You can find me at... M-I-S-T-E-R-Q and then Mart. Thank you for listening to us talk about sneakers. Please remember to rock your kicks, especially for December. And don't forget to use the hashtag CGS2 2019 in a few days. 
wow. for a feature. This has been True to Size. We are CGS and we are out. Goodbye. Mm-hmm. Peace. 2019. I know, man. It's scary. Where does the time go? It's scary. Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs>